Strange. No one's around here. That would mean. Yup, this should be the place. Well, it's time to get to work. The transmission was sent out a while ago. So. Hmm. Oh, hey, a guy. Do you mind if I ask you a question? I've received a message by some hooligans going by this symbol. Any ideas where I can find more intel? I'm not sure if I can help you there. Well, damn. Well, I better familiarize myself with my surroundings in the meantime. Who exactly are you? Huh? Oh, right. You guys must be a more established city. Well, I came here expecting a war and arrived to a quiet doorstep. If you're talking about that one war, then it's already over, my friend. Shit. I gotta start answering these calls earlier. I never catch your name, but if you're some hero or some vigilante, then you better get lost. Oh, uh, definitely not a hero, that's for sure. <laughs> you're double hunter? The thing is, I'm not getting paid for this either, so... Again, I didn't catch the name. Oh, how rude of me. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Kazimir Kazahira. I'm a... debt collector. And? What do you mean, and? Why are you even here? You should have known that the war had been over for a long time, right? As I said before, I received a signal. A signal sent across the Bioverse. A threat. And one that pissed off my employers enough for me to come deal with it. And you think it's here? It's where the signal originated. You may want to explain better. I don't think you understand. This signal was broadcast far out enough for me to hear it. And yes, I'm not from around here. Let's assume that I believe you. But then again, you won't be able to win that battle even with your special skills. Human? Well, eh, never mind. You'd be surprised what humans can do in my world. And now I'd rather not start something. So I have to ask you first, do you mind if I demonstrate? Uh, demonstrate what? My abilities are rather on the gory side. I wouldn't want to kill you, no. You seem like a pretty cool guy. However, this will hurt, if you don't mind. Why are you giving me vibes that you're... Demon? Yeah, I saw that coming. Well, not a demon, but eldritch horrors beyond our comprehension. That was such a bad move. Buddy, I'm going to ignore the super strength it took to kick me this far and say your arm is broken. What I was expecting was for you to be in pain and then I would fix it. Because that's my ability. I'm going to wipe that stupid look off your stupid face. Try it. Stand down. If we're going to fight, then we'll fight. But if you listen, I'll heal you and we'll go our separate ways. Then let you go, letting you kill more innocent people? I only kill sinners. Oh, good reason why I shouldn't kill you then. Kill me? Well, I won't stay dead for long. Well, since you won't give me one, I guess I should make this quick. Listen here, you bastard. I've made my point and you've made yours. I'm not done putting my point yet, asshole. Wah, wah, wah. Look, I don't care. You're more powerful. Sure, go do that. 
So if we've de-escalated enough, I'm going to go find Victor and kill him. What did you just say? Oh, did that offend you? Apologies. Look, if you hate him, then we have a common enemy. You can't detect anything. <sighs> 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 Ugh, okay, ow. Second, why didn't you start with that? On you? Don't make me laugh. Well, 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 that's what I'm hearing. You could have killed me with that, but you didn't. Why? Because the way you were using the guns, you weren't 100% demon. Okay, good to know that I'm against someone with a fragile ego. No offense. But the name. You told me his name. What's the voice saying? What are you talking about? Okay, and presumably... Get down! There's the thing. Are these normal in your reality? This ain't exactly normal. Quick, use fireball! That wouldn't work. It won't work? It's a fireball! Clearly you don't know its speed, but I won't be able to hit it like that. Okay, well it's stalking us now. So I suggest we go back to back before it catches us. <laughs> Oh, well that went to waste. Well, job's done, so I'll be taking my leave. Wait, that's it? But we work so well together. Yeah, that's true. But I'm not going to be like, Oh, thank you so much. Can you be my friend and go home, do nothing? Yeah, that's not what I'm doing. You don't like, uh, Victor. Yeah, I don't like him either. And just by consuming a couple demons, we can both take him on. Don't you have any friends who would want to take this guy out too? Yeah, even if that was the case, they wouldn't be able to help now, would they? Did you forget that this guy threatened the entire Earth? Or that even I picked up on this signal from a different reality? This guy's a massive threat, and a perfect target for some devil-may-care freedom fighters. Are you some from High Council or something? Or from some interdimensional heroes or anything like that? <laughs> you think I'm part of some group of dimensional travelers? <laughs> well, I mean, there was this one guy. Well, the, the device on my arm. Well, I stole. It's a long story. Shut your mouth. Are you talking about me or yourself? We're, uh, both demon hunters. That's nothing. Uh, you? So, what are your problems then? It's like you care. It's none of your business. Look, kid, I've seen a whole hell of a lot. And I think I've been doing this for much longer than you have. Death or loss, or fear, anger, sadness, you don't keep that bottled up. You don't want to end up like me, either. Whatever it is, I think I'll understand. Understand? Just how old do you think I am? You don't know how cruel this world is. You're 32. You want to talk, cruel world? I live in an apocalypse. I kill people for a living. I have to work for hell or she takes my kids. I don't want that. You're not going to get any of my sympathy for your pity party. So open up and say what's wrong and move on with your life. <sighs> my friends are dead. My family I was brought into were killed. My mom and dad are dead. Are you happy now? I understand. So what? Are you just going to sit idly by as Victor takes over the world? He already did 13 years ago. Oh shit. Huh. I really gotta check my connection because I got that transmission late. 
And second, why the hostility? Is that just your trauma response? No, you're an edgelord. Says the guy who was late. Huh. Touché. Huh. Okay, well I guess I'll do this solo. Wait, is there a police force around here? I just don't want to be framed as some sort of criminal for all the gunshots and fighting. Oh, hey, it's Waller. So, his name is Leon. Cool, cool. Let's see here. If found, please return to... Oh, damn thing. I cannot seem to figure this out. I'm not like Nico. Rude. Why the hell are you here? Wallet. You dropped it. Quit your main character bullshit. Don't lie to me, you son of a... You're the one here who's holding the gun. Dude, I thought we were chill now. Like if I knew some stranger. So, huh, I'll be on my way or something. Have a, okay, ow, I am no less hurt than I am annoyed. Uh, sure. Yo, Leon was it. My friend is a gunsmith, so I know a bit about firearms. Would you like me to have a look? gonna guide you to the ways I was told. Okay, I'm gonna make a call. Yo, Cass. Alexi, I've got a cool gun for you to look at. Oh great, let me see. Okay, I think we're done. Man, I gotta make one of these. Okay, Leon, give it a try. How's it feel? Also, I'm surprised you can handle the recoil. Like it was made for me. Maybe I should call it Red Feather. I don't know what that means, but cool. Anyway, it's been fun, but now it's time to gather a ragtag group of rebels to go topple Victor. You're really still on to that? It's what I came to do. You won't have luck fighting him for what happened. So, what happened? An island got taken over and it's no longer where it's supposed to be. So? So I would think it would be damn near impossible to find it. Well, I can just use my PDA. And I can compare the signal that I received with any broadcast from this planet. Do you want to have a good reason why you should be doing this? Yeah, pretty much. And if that message gets to me, then it's a big deal. Because not only are my kids on the line, but think of the others that that message was sent to. If this Victor guy can travel realities, then it's a big deal. Yeah, I know I'm wasting your time that you haven't begun, but... You're going to have to convince me that you're from another universe, because I do not believe you at all. Okay, I'll be right back. Teleported. Hmm. Why am I not surprised? Well, this is gonna take a while. Howdy, I'm back. Hey, I've got a gift for you. What's that? It's a Bioverse personal digital assistant. A PDA. It looks cool. Yeah, moving on. Just flick your wrist and it'll activate. So, 
I've already preset a pin here at your home reality, so you can return at any time. I'm pretty sure it won't hurt if I just test it out right now. No, wait! Oh, wow, that was- oh, oh, okay, yep, it's going. It huh, well, do you feel sick? Well then, try not to teleport around too much. Well, this is intriguing, but I'm convinced. Oh, what the- Sniper! Everyone get down! Leon! Let's see a sniper glare. Uh, he's probably long gone by now. Anyway, as for Leon, it's a good thing I put family mode on that thing. Okay, sit tight, buddy. I'm gonna get you back. What? Wait, uh, oh shit! Oh, oh I fell on my back. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Where... Where am I? Where? I don't think I recognized this forest before. The guy Casimir said that it can take you to many places and other universes, worlds. If that's true, then... Oh, come on, damn thing, work! God damn it, it's overheating. Or it might be busted from the shot. <sighs> Only to worry about whatever am I. This doesn't seem like any kind of forest I've been before. Well, my suspicions were correct. Seems like I'm no longer in my universe. If that's true, then where am I? Seems like I'm in an old wasteland or something like that. Whatever I am I? Huh? Thank you.